The world is getting warmer and at an increasing rate. A large reason for this is CO2 levels in the atmosphere. Since the beginning of the Industrial Revolution, they have risen at an unprecedented rate. Rising CO2 levels have been correlating closely with rising global temperatures since 1880. This graph shows rising CO2 levels on a shorter time scale as measured at the Mauna Loa Observatory in Hawaii. On an even shorter time scale, you can see average CO2 levels have continued to rise despite a global economic slowdown from the coronavirus pandemic, which is shown by the black line. The red line on this graph shows the seasonal variations. In 1990, the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, or IPCC, published their first assessment report. They modeled a series of scenarios estimating the expected rise in CO2 levels. The business-as-usual case was deeply concerning. Fast forward to the panel's fifth report in 2014. In it, they referred to different scenarios called Representative Concentration Pathways, or RCPs. The worst-case scenario, RCP 8.5, leads to a particularly grim result. Unfortunately, between 2005 and 2020, cumulative CO2 emissions have tracked within 1% of RCP 8.5. Without substantial action to reduce CO2 and other greenhouse gas emissions, we can expect to experience the worst-case scenario. Under this worst-case scenario, warming outcomes have been estimated to be approximately 4.5 degrees Celsius. This will likely lead to catastrophic results including crashing ecosystems, rapidly rising sea levels, and the forced migration of billions of people. In other words, the current path we are on is a pathway to disaster. To change course, the world needs to mobilize for action on climate change on a sufficiently large scale. In order to build broad-based support for this, we must bridge the gap between believers and doubters on the impacts of climate change. Military and intelligence experts are uniquely positioned to speak out about these impacts on human security to build more support for large-scale action on this issue. Engaging with civil society to develop strategies that enable everyone to benefit from implementing large-scale action is also key. For more information, visit climatesand.org/cwt.